The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. This box is an uninterruptible power supply or UPS. Using a lead acid battery, it provides power to devices like my scope when AC mains goes away. Over time, those batteries wear out and need to be replaced. That is where this Hioki battery tester comes into play. Not only can it tell us the ESR of a sealed lead acid battery, but it can also measure while the battery and UPS are in operation. Normally, this is not a meter you would have on your electronics workbench. But when I talked to Hioki about it, I thought it sounded cool and would be fun to show here. So I borrowed it from the Element 14 road test program. That's the part of the community where you can apply to review test gear and other electronics related items. Check the show notes for a link to the road test page and a review video of the meter. In this episode, we'll take a look at how we can measure a battery's health while still in operation in a UPS. Before we get to the meter and its measurements, let's look at a block diagram for a UPS. At the core is a battery, which is a DC source. It is connected to an inverter circuit that converts the DC into AC. A switch automatically changes to the DC powered inverter when AC mains is lost. Most of the time, these systems are sitting at a floating charge since they are only in use when being discharged. We tend to think of batteries as ideal sources. But like all components, they have some parasitics like resistance, inductance, and even a little capacitance. Very little. One of those parasitics is the equivalent series resistance, or ESR. It's a result of how the battery is packaged and the chemical makeup. You can think of it as a resistor in series with the voltage source inside of the battery. Just like a real resistor, ESR drops some voltage and waste energy in the form of heat. As a battery charges, discharges, and ages, that resistance goes up. Eventually, it makes the battery unusable. By measuring the ESR, the Hioki meter can quickly tell us something about the health of a battery while it is in operation. An alternative method would be to measure the capacity, but that would mean removing the batteries and the UPS from service. Plus, it takes significantly more time to make that measurement compared to how fast this meter is. Using one of my home office UPSs, we can measure the ESR of its battery while it is powered. To see how valid this measurement is, I removed the battery from the UPS circuit and measured the ESR again. As you can see, the before and after ESR is nearly the same. Looking at it with my scope, it is generating a sine wave. When connected to the battery, the amplitude drops significantly. Like an impedance meter, I think the Hioki is measuring the change in AC voltage, which is due to the ESR of the battery under test. In this case, I couldn't measure how small the sine wave got, but I think that's what's happening. It's an impedance measurement. Now, sometimes on the meter, I saw a voltage measurement, but not an ESR. It turns out the probes are like a Kelvin or four wire connection. And then when I looked close at the probes, there is a crown tip and a sheath. If both do not make contact to the terminal, you do not get both measurements. Since I had the meter, I simply had to take it apart. Inside is a well-designed circuit board with lots of parts that look like signal conditioning. There were no active ICs that really caught my attention, However, there are two capacitor related items that I noticed. First, there are many white ceramic capacitors. This color usually indicates C0G rated ceramics. Second are these rainbow colored parts. These are multi-layer polymer film capacitors. I rarely see these in the wild, but they are common in an instrument like this one. Both of these capacitor design choices make me think that the voltage the meter measures is extremely small, which is why I struggled to get a good waveform on the scope. Regardless, I think that these capacitors are super cool to see in a shipping product like this one. 
One question that comes up with these battery testers is what kind of batteries can they test? Their intended application is sealed lead acid or SLA batteries. But the tester works fine with other battery types. I used it with alkaline and nickel metal hydride just fine. It can measure LiPo batteries, however, the issue is how they get banked together. There is typically a battery management system or BMS that controls and monitors individual cells. That BMS can interfere with the readings from the meter. Fortunately, if you check the show notes, there is information on the Element 14 community from Hioki on how to use this kind of meter with a BMS. Speaking of the community, remember that over on Element 14, you can find show notes for this episode, which includes links to the meter, the product review video, and some application notes. By the way, that is the best place to ask me questions because I'm more likely to see them. For now, it is time for me to get back to making uninterrupted battery measurements around my electronics workbench.